Loved ones separated by COVID travel restrictions are reuniting today for the first time in more than a year and a half since the U.S. closed its borders. WGN's Sean Lewis is live at O'Hare with more. Hi, Sean. Hi there to you, Micah. It's not only the passengers, but the airlines that are happy about today's news. In fact, the U.S. Commerce Secretary was in town today saying that this one move by the federal government will help the economy. At O'Hare's Terminal 5 tonight, the hugs are a bit longer after the long road we have all had. We've been waiting a long time. For the first time in nearly two years, international travel into the United States for fully vaccinated people can resume. It's been so difficult the past couple of years for everyone. Amir Hidari's partner is coming in from Paris. Prior visits have been highly scrutinized as non-essential international travel during the pandemic was highly restricted. But it's been very difficult. You have to have special visa, special COVID visa. Uh, you know, uh, every time you have to renew it. So it's been quite difficult, but possible. But starting today, easier. Much easier starting today, exactly. America's open for business again. We are open for business again on a global stage. Today in Chicago, the U.S. Commerce Secretary touted the easing of these travel restrictions. You will see a real shot in the arm to the economy um, because of that, to a part of the economy that has been hardest hit. It's really surreal having, having them here. For the Bishop family, this visit from Grandma and Grandpa, the first in nearly two years, will be spent making up for lost time. We haven't been able to do the normal things that grandparents do. I mean, um, we've missed them desperately. We don't have any other grandchildren, so they are everything to us. It's been very difficult. <laughs> FaceTime isn't the same, is it? Absolutely not. Nothing will ever replace just being with them and watching them and living with them. Those kids were very happy to see grandpa and grandma today. You know, the U.S. has approved nine different vaccines for those international travelers coming into the U.S. to have. You must be fully vaccinated. There's also a testing requirement needed. We have all of that information up for you right now at WGNTV.com. We are live at O'Hare tonight. Sean Lewis, WGN News. What a happy